Hello and welcome back to the Selling Dan. I hope you are all well. Uh, another weird day for me, so it's a Friday. I don't normally pick on a Friday, but something a little bit different. Coming up to winter, I've realised I've got to change tactics. So, currently logged on. Currently wait to get waiting to go live at 10 o'clock, so it's currently 9.48 in the morning. I'm just about to do my very first auction. So... I did the auction for the returns pallet, which was totally different to this. Uh, this is actually a live auction in the auction house, uh, but obviously I'm doing it remotely from home. Logged onto my laptop, everything's set up. I have my long list of items here that I want to bid on. So currently I've got around about 30 lots I want uh, to bid on. But we'll see how we get on. I'm not expecting much. I'm hoping out of 30 I get 10. So I've got my lots, I've got my maximum bids. If they're going slightly over that, I might... might up it a little bit but I've stuck with all them I'm going to try and bid very at the last minute I'm not going to pre-bid which you can do I'm not going to start the bidding off early I'm going to wait until like the very last second a little bit like eBay I'm going to try and snipe it don't know whether it'll work or not but we'll see so what I'm going to do is I'll be recording myself while I'm doing it so you can see here all set up there with my ring light make me look professional you know i'm trying i'm trying uh so i'm gonna go through all these i will be switching the camera on and off uh, as and when i am bidding on items because there's quite a lot to go through um you know i think there's well over there's 11 pages worth of items i think there's over 400 400 lots on this one so quite a lot to be going through but let's just see how we get on let's see how we get on what can go wrong what can go wrong i've got my budgets i'm gonna stick with them but let's see what happens so you know Let's get bidding. <laughs> Just want to say, this is absolutely crazy. I'll be honest, I've won one away from this. So it's a, uh, a set of silver plate stuff. Uh, I know a dealer who will buy that straight off me. But in this lot that I got off camera, the large amount of silver plate. Um, so as you can see, just from here, I have quite a large amount of silver plate there. Some nice tea sets. All that lot. So this total lot cost me £28.59. That's including all the fees and everything like that. Um, so all this silver plate has already sold for £16 to a dealer. A few other things that sat, stood out were this um, Pigot, Pigot Ware. Uh, there's two of these teapots and also a milk jug. Uh, they sell for around about £20 each. So another £60 there. So we're at £120. This lovely silver plated candelabra. Um, I'll put that up for around about 30 to 40 pounds, so 160. This really heavy duty uh, night with the uh, fire surround utensils in the back of there, that again around about 40 pounds, so 200 pounds plus a lovely little dinky toy, uh, car transporter, 20 pounds, uh, and then all this remaining hand painted items that are in there plus uh, a little novelty ship. So I'd say there's probably another. £40 there, included in the brass items. So, you know, in that one, we're probably looking at around about £250 for that lot from a £28 investment. This is so quick. I just can't even... Like, I've got a lot coming up. I want 1026. We're at 1020 already. And, like, so he's gone through 20 in a matter of 10 minutes. Just, it's so quick. So, so quick. But, well... I can't even explain it. It's so difficult. It's so difficult to try and concentrate on what you're doing and not be outbid because they've got the room that's in there and they've also got everyone else that's online at the same time. Oh, so I, I, there were one lot I wanted, which was a load of, of old books. The set in there was worth like 40 quid that was in there. So my back, max bid were like 10 to 15 pound on that. It sold for like 65 quid. I'm like, how did that even get to that? <laughs> Just absolutely crazy. In fact, I might keep you out. Of, I, I'm just amazed by this. Absolutely amazed by it. It's just going crazy. Like some stuff's going really cheap, but it's not stuff that I'd buy. And then the stuff that I want to buy is going crazy. At least I won one. One's good, you know. It's one out of me thirty, but I didn't even want it on my list. I just bid on it. So I'm twenty-two pound in plus twenty-four percent. So when I say I'm stabbing in the dark here. I would literally feel like a fish out of water. I just don't like... Why can I not have the face-to-face with someone I negotiate? This is like just going mad. Right, I'm going for this one. Three, four, that's one for 1026. Well, they've all been off this side of the floor. 50 pounds. If you bid by easy, 18 trolley. 18 dodging, you bid by 7. I'm up on 18. Sold on first, but easy 
Johnny Depp, 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 in this one, I picked up lot 1026. I picked up some lawn bowls, which you know I always pick up. These are some Thomas Taylors. These are worth around about £40 for the set. There's also some other Thomas Taylors two ball in there, which are worth around £20, uh, and some little ones in there. So in total, we've probably got around about £70 to £80 worth of bowls in there. Just to add on top, there was this quartz camera in there, £15. There was a... Kodiak, Kodak brownie camera in there again another £20 two sets of binoculars at £30 for both of them and then the one that really caught my eye when I went to see it was this middle moor uh, vintage bike saddle which sell for around about £50 so just from this box we're probably looking at around about £160 from a £28.59 investment so my bids my net lots coming up next 103031 we'll see you there's some silver plated wares here. I think, to be honest, on the next one, it's it's some old 50 year old horror uh, posters, movie posters. I think it's already up at 100 quid. I think my limit were 80, so I think uh, we might be out of this one. Let's let's see what happens. God, they've got an estimated value of 180 pounds. Wow. Ninety-five quid. I'm totally lost. Like this, this is an experience. This, if you could ever get on one of these, do it. It's it's crazy. Uh, the life experience. I've never, but like, I'll, this is crazy. I'm gonna try for these some ladies' handbags. Let's see what we can get for these. No more than fifteen quid. I'm thinking about like reselling them at car boot. I've gone to 18. I've just seen there's a Michael Kors in there. You know, there's not that many. Got that one. 1042, didn't, uh, didn't even put it on my list. But. This one that I picked up was a bunch of ladies' handbags. Took a bit of a risk on this one, but I saw this in the uh, showroom and I knew it was worth a bit of a challenge. So in total, I paid £23.39 for this, all in. Um, so the one that caught my eye was this Michael Kors bag. Uh, in good enough condition, level one, resells for about £50. There's a couple of little ones here that in total, all together, between all three of them will get me around about £40, so you know we're up at uh, 90, £80 to £90. There's also this Jimmy Choo uh, Mahu leather uh, suede in the middle, which is authentic, really nice piece. Now these sell new for 250 so I'm hoping to pitch that, you know, 80 to 100 And then there's also this, I've, I've uh, asked for some help on this one, it's a Basler, and it's a silk skirt that i didn't even notice was in there uh the tags on this one say it was up for 169 pounds so i'll do a bit more research on this one but i'd say i'd definitely clear around about 200 pound for that lot well, right, let's see what these come out 20 quid i've got goods for these ones Got them. Twenty-two. I'm happy at that one. These are the Waverley novels. I got twenty-two of these for twenty-eight pound fifty-nine. They're from eighteen ninety-three in immaculate condition. There's a full set of these, all forty-four novels, up for a four hundred and fifty pound. Uh, not many, not many sold. So I'll be looking. No, I'll be looking at around about a hundred to hundred and fifty for this lot. Uh, but just a really nice piece, really caught my eye. 22 of them, just 
something I really want to want to sell and, and ship, really. So coming up is well, 1077, which is a Tiffany-style lampshade and then some needlework, and then this 1078, which is a Bush record player, untested, and another Monarch turntable. So both of them, so they're like, it's about £50, and then I'd say £30, so £80 in value. So I won't want to spend more than like 20 quid on those. Um, the Tiffany lamp's really, really nice. So I'm like hoping for about 15 quid for this lot. Twelve. I'm up twelve. I'm fifteen pound thirty nine into this uh, set. Very small one, so I picked up this Tiffany style uh, lampshade. You know, just really caught my eye. Really vibrant colours on there. Uh, I value that around about forty to fifty pound. And then also with it came this like uh, knitted square uh, piece. Quite a nice piece. Not too bad. Really 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 rustic uh, and I'd probably say something around about 20 to 30 pound I'd hope to get back on that one so not bad from a 15 pound 39 investment so more than no more than 20 quid on this one oh, not wearing anymore so coming up, there's a lo I've had to take my glasses off because there's, there's loads of camera lenses here. I know, th this is just going to go crazy. I think this will go for over 40, 50 quid. The value is at £20. Got it. £20. 20 quid. Not bad, actually. I thought that was going to go for a lot more. A big bunch of camera lenses that I bought here. Paid £25.99, uh, which isn't too bad. So each of these camera lenses, there is 11 of these. All of these sell anywhere between 10 to £15 on their own, untested. So 11 of them, you know, you've got around about £160 just coming out of there. Um, you've got a Practica camera, 20 quid. You've got a Canon Power Shot, which actually works, so that's around about 60 to 70 quid. Uh, and you've got two other cameras, uh, sorry, one other camera, a Miranda, around about £20 there. So in total, I'd say we're looking at around about £250 from that one. For a lot more. I want these cash boxes. I don't know why, I just want them for myself. Fifteen quid, happy with that one. Here we have uh, five deed boxes or cash tins. So you've got a little pilot one here with the key. Uh, that sells for around about fifteen pounds. You have a uh, oh, what do you call it? Criterion one here again with the key. Uh, green one sells for around about twenty to thirty-five. You're probably another ten pound on this wooden one. A second metal one, around about fifteen pound, and then a very large black one here. Um, so in total, you know, fifteen. Uh, you're probably looking at around about a hundred pound from a nine pound forty nine investment. Well, they're not bad, but one of these I'm going to keep for myself. I want a little deed box cash tin, uh, just for some cash that I've got uh, for when I'm going to the car boot. So yeah, quite a good buy. One that I've always wanted to kind of. I just really wanted to get some cash tins for some reason. Just seeing them at the car boots, I just wanted to buy them. Just uh, an instinct one. One that wasn't even on the list. I don't even know what I'm up to at the minute, I'll be honest. I don't know what my cost is. 22, 44, 66. I'm well over 100 quid, let's put it that way. I'd recommend anyone to do this. I mean, I know I'm 100 odd quid in, but it's a bit of a risk. But I did go on Wednesday, I did have a quick look, and I did check out all the items that were there. So, you know, I'm quite confident what I've been in. Some of them have gone over. So, like, I had one at 20, I spent 22. Another one at 20, spent 22. And then I've, I've won one, two, three, four, five that I didn't even have on my list. Uh, so, mine's coming up next Retro Gaming, Dragon 32, Commodore. Atari XE system. See what it goes at. I've got 50 quid. 50. Next one then, right, we've got 1095 then there for you, right? We've got a nice bit of retro uh, gaming Dragon 32 there, right? We've got a nail there. We've got that one. Who's got 50 pounds trading? 50, 50, 40, 30, 20 pounds. 120. 120! 130 pounds. Where's that one gone? 130 
I'm out. I'm out. Three done. So that one sold for two hundred and ten pounds plus the twenty four percent. That's got to be a collector who wants them because there's no room at all in resale for that. No, no, not a chance. Not a chance. So that can't. I know not everyone here is going to be for resale, but that that's a high high price you could probably get that cheaper on ebay i like coming on this one there's a nice monopoly game and a lumax camera some uh, little dalton figurines quite a lot of stuff here so a lot that could go to the car boom as well like 20 quid so i'm willing to go up to 30 for this one 25 with me, 25, 25 both out of 28 there, 28 in the sale room, 28 pound a minute's life. I got 28 pound on the sale room then, 28 pound raw, and in front of here, 28 pound, I'll take 30 if you like. At 28 pound Amazon then, for the last time this time, at 28 pound. 28 quid, happy with that one. Seven. So in this big lot, I wanted to pick up, I paid 36 pound 39 for this. So quite a lot on this one, uh, one that I spent up on, but I noticed there was this Panason Panasonic Lumix uh, camera. Uh, they retail for around about £60, but it also has its car ooh, carry case and the original box with all the battery chargers in there. So, a really good buy, to be honest. Uh, so, I'll probably be pitching that around about £80 quid for this. Everything else that were in there were these little uh, trinkets, uh, which again, probably like £5 to £10. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. Quite a large pirate one, uh, and also a Monopoly City that sells for about £15. So in total, from 36 quid, I'll be looking to round about £150 from that box. Smurfs champagne glasses. Oh, I like these. Right, so Christmas decks. Christmas decks, want these, want these. No more than 20, 30 quid. Absolutely not. People surely don't want Christmas decorations. Although it is coming up to Christmas, I want these. Next one then, right, we go. Please. Oh, don't. Why is everyone wanting this one? I'm going to end up overpaying. <sighs> Please. I'm annoyed at that one, but you've got to see the value in things, haven't you? That's 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 a crazy, that's a crazy value for that. To be fair, right. So his second Christmas lot's coming up, uh, which includes like a dancing hat, a tree that spins, and then some other decorations. This one looks quite nice, actually. Some chairs, a nice little tray. Yeah, they're nice stuff, that. Nice stuff. So we're coming up, hopefully, Christmas stuff. I want it. I want it. I'm, I'm really going to go for this one. Oh. I haven't won for one for a while, to be fair. I'm slacking out. <laughs> So I'll show it you, I'll show it you while it's coming on. So look, some Christmas decorations and loads of new baubles. So, we'll see how we're getting on. So this is Santa's magic hat, moving hat, and then a tree, and then loads of baubles. So that's my automated bid for ten pounds that's so winning. Yes, yes. This one had a ton of Christmas decorations. I'd already missed out on the one that I really wanted, but this one set me back thirteen pounds, so not that much money. Few standout items. I got a. It's around about a six foot tall fiber optic spinning Christmas tree. Now I knew they're around about one eighty. Uh, I've plugged it in. It does work. I'll be looking for around about forty to fifty pound from that one. But one that I really like is this candelabra 
like Christmas decoration with light up on there. So that one, I'll do a quick look, but everything does work on that one. I'd like to be looking for, again, around about 40 to 50 pound. And then everything else on there, there's a singing Santa hat, there's a few baubles, there's a nice little merry-go-round. You know, I think we'll be looking at another 40 to 50, uh, 40 to 50 quid from that. So from 13 pound, I'll be looking at around about 150 quid for all that lot, which really isn't bad for Christmas decorations. So I'll cut it this one. This is around about 120 pound seahorse by Anita Harris. 22 quid. 25, 25, 25, 30, so we'll so we're onto the Anita Harris, uh, a really nice piece, it's this seahorse piece, so beautiful, like the nicest one that they've got on there. Uh, I paid £30 for this one, so paid up slightly, but I'd be looking at around about a return of £120 on that one. Out of all the Anita Harris that was there, you know, it's hand painted, it's, it's beautiful. And I'm not a pottery person or ceramics person, but this is really, really nice. Hand signed at the bottom in gold. It's just a really nice piece. I think I'm out of pieces a bit higher. Probably looking for about 130 to 140. I'd be happy to accept an offer around about 100 to 120. Um, so in total on that one, I'm £38.99 in. So paid up a bit, but hopefully, you know, more than triple my money on that one. How about this for a service? You got me dinner bro for me as well, a bit of bagel. Although there is a chunk missing out of that one. Wonder who ate that? And an orange. Oh. Brain food being brought in by the missus. Thank you, Amy. So a lot of these that are coming up. I'm just trying my luck, to be honest. Sorry, I'm just eating my vegan at the same time. So there's some nice Leonardo birds, uh, some Hornsey, uh, little, little lots here. Now, for £20, it's probably a good deal. You know, there's, there's, there's still some money in it, but it just keeps getting bid up and bid up. It's just like you don't even get a chance. Like, some like the estimations on here seem to be way out for some reason. Um, it's very strange, very strange. Like there's another lot here, plated ware crumb screw scoop with horn handle. I think that'll sell really well. Um, what's the current? Their estimation's fifteen to twenty pound. It's a lovely lot here, look. It's a lovely lot with a nice. It looks like a Schweppes decanter as well. So that should be a good lot. You know, I'd be willing to pay up to twenty pound for that one. There's a lovely set on there. So let's see how we get on. Very interesting, to be fair, um, because ones that are like have got quite a lot in them, people are bidding a lot more on uh, because they know that they can go to a car boot, put that tray out, know exactly what they've paid for that tray, and you can get the money straight away. So there's a way, there's like a picture of Winston Churchill on this as well. I think I, I might go for this one. I might take a risk on this one. Eat a bagel like the lamb. Happy with that one. Um, so on this one, a bit of a weird variety. It's not something that I'd normally buy. I'm thirty-six pound thirty-nine into this, which is which is quite a lot to be honest. But one thing that caught my eye was this silver plated uh, with a bullhorn handle uh, crumb scoop. They sell for around about forty-five. So yeah, I know I can get my money back in this one. Um, just going through some of the items. So I've got this uh, sparklets soda siphon. Uh, that sells for around about £15, so you know we're up to 60 A very nice little egg uh, piece with a horse in the middle, very decorative, you know, probably £15 looking for that one. Some of the things that I'd take to the car boot, but um, this one's quite nice, little vintage teapot, you know, again, £10 to £15. Um, a nice little jug, 
uh, and a Wedgwood piece, uh, a little trinket box, which again are probably be 10 to 15 pounds. So all in all, from 36 quid, I'd be looking at around about 100 to 120. Probably some of this will end up going to the car boot, if I'm honest. Okay, so I've come off it now. Uh, there's a hell of a lot to go through. I put some pre bids in because uh, I just need to get on with the day. You know, I've been at this for just shy of three hours now. Um, so I've won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 lots, not great, but I wanted 10, so I suppose I'm over it. Put pre-bids in on another 12, I think, some of the uh, Peggy Davis stuff, or whatever she would call it, I can't remember what she was called. So I'm sure I'll get alerted if I win them. Uh, I'm gonna get on with my day, go and do some stuff with the family. So off camera, you know, we're only 270 items in to a 600 plus item auction so i was getting a bit tired i'd been on there since 10 o'clock it was around about one o'clock so i switched it off put all my automatic bids in so luckily i was quite successful um, and in between i was going on my phone and bidding for a few things but obviously i didn't record it um, so one that i really wanted to get um and there was four of these available i missed out on the other three but managed to get this one so this is a peggy davis uh, erotic uh, figurine so this is original uh, for Peggy Davis it's one of one uh, it's called the what's it called the temptress uh, so she did quite a few different versions of this all hand painted uh, but they're all different versions so these last sold for somewhere around about 250 pound on eBay plus shipping um, I picked this up for ninety pounds, so I'm more than happy to pay ninety pounds, knowing that I can get two hundred and fifty back from it. You know, it's a really elegant piece, something that I would never normally have bought, but uh, I did a, my research prior to the auction coming on, and it was one hundred percent worth it for me. So paid up for me. I'm one hundred and sixteen pounds into that, so hopefully I'll double my money on that one, which I'll be happy with. Another one away from camera was one three four three. Uh, that I picked up was this small tray of items, very small tray of items here, so I could quickly go through them all. I paid thirty eight ninety nine all in for this one. I already know that with this um, vintage razor blade, uh, you know, uh, throat, whatever it's called, cutthroat razor blade, uh, it's a made uh, in Sheffield one. I've sold these before for around about thirty to forty pounds, so I, that, I knew straight away I'd be getting that one. I've also got a mother of pearl. Uh, with a silver handle knife, little small knife, uh, but again, I'll get that valued, but I'd say that that will work for around about £20 on its own, really nice finish, a bit rusty on the blade, but really nice finish, uh, and then just some other bits that I got with it, I've never seen one of these before, um, it looks like a, kind of like an optics, um, optics piece, don't know, do some research in that one, but I'd say around about £10, uh, and then some other pieces, some uh, multi-tools, and a, um, looks like a little lighter, so all in all, I'd be hoping to get back around about 100 to 120 again from that lot, uh, not masses, but again, it just intrigued me, quite a nice little set, uh, and the silver blade and the um, rate cut through, you know, I, would, I knew I was going to get my money and it was safe, so uh, I took a bit of a risk on this one again, but it hopefully paid off. I'll be honest with this one, so this is lot 1420. I was away, I think I was sat in hospital with my mum as she went for a checkup, uh, but I picked up this one, it was 25 99 all in. I probably, if I'm looking back, I wouldn't have, <laughs> I wouldn't have bought it. But uh, a few things to stand out are this silver-plated um, salt pot, really nice piece, probably around about ten to fifteen pound. I'm going to ask my silver plate guy because I didn't see this one in there, um, and I'll ask him for some advice on that one. Away from that, really weird. So there's a Winston Churchill postcard in here. It's a Tux postcard uh, that will sell for around about ten pound on its own. So hopefully, I've got my money back there. Um, you know, a polished turbo shell, a few other bits of shell, which I don't think there's twenty pound in them, and then quite a lot of figures. So an otter, uh, an owl, a dolphin, all little things that don't add up. This weird little, like, looks like an African skewer. Very strange, but that's that's a bit weird. Uh, some blood donation uh, pieces, and. Don't know what that is like a, a horse and saddle brooch uh, and a few other brooches. So, uh, Malt Me Riding Centre, 
a uh, few bits in there. So, all in all, I'd say I'd be lucky to get 35 to 40 pounds. Most of this will most likely be going to the car boot. Um, but, you know, if I'm looking back, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But hey ho, we live and learn. So, my little bit of a roundup. Would I do it again? Yes, 100%. It was very difficult, very, very difficult, but was 100% worth it. Uh, I found out some really great things, you know, like just broaden my knowledge altogether. I'm 100% going to be doing the next one. I've bought some lots that I shouldn't have bought, but will still make money on. There's some stuff that's going to go straight to the car boot, which is not a problem, not at all. Uh, but, you know, opening my eyes to these Anita Harris, the Peggy Davis, really has... Um, just broaden my horizon. Hopefully, you know, once I've totted all this up, you know, looking at a spend of four seven six ninety three, which is too isn't too bad with all in, um, and around about I'd say the value that's coming out for me is is around about two thousand one hundred twenty pound coming from that. So eBay will take around about two hundred fifty four quid, uh, which leaves me with a profit of a, just over thirteen hundred fifty pound, which is a really not bad uh, for a morning's work from quite a big investment. To be fair, it's quite a hefty investment, um, but really worth it. I've got a garage full of stuff here, stuff that I need to get listing. Uh, I've got through most of my death pile now, so I'm quite happy, but this auction was 100% worth it. We'll 100% be doing it again. So, I hope you like this video. Something different, something I'm definitely going to be doing again around winter time. Um, so, if you like this video, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Over and out from the Selling Dan.